In the beginning of my musical journey, a goal of mine was to be in one of those Vegas shows. There is a resurgence in Las Vegas now, and I'm very happy about that. I think it's going to be uh, really uh, booming again. It is booming again, basically, now. I see Las Vegas as that place that reinvents itself. Listen, this isn't your grandmama and your grandpapa's Las Vegas. Young folks are planning trips to Vegas around their favorite artists, around their favorite shows. But it's all dictated by the music. And yeah, throughout the years, I think that it has kind of evolved. Rather it was EDM, or rather it was nightclub culture. Usher is my man, you know, so I went to see him. Usher presents a brand new Las Vegas residency. He was wonderful. And he was one of the people who told me a while back that he didn't want to play Las Vegas. <laughs> so. And at one point I was like, man, I don't know if I'm ready to go. Am I, am, is it over for me if I'm going to Las Vegas? Because I'm the youngest dude. No, that's it. A lot of the younger artists are playing there now because Vegas has all the hoobla. When I came here in 2000, some of my peers, like in New York, would go, why, why are you going to Vegas? You know, that's where old entertainers go to die. That was, that was the attitude in those days. There was a time in which Vegas kind of lost its luster. But then there was a shift again. And the next thing you knew, you know, you had artists that were on the charts right now, huge pop names. You're getting Mariah Carey, Janet Jackson, Jennifer Lopez, Silk Sonic, John Legend. All of them have had residencies in Las Vegas. They were able to usher in the new Las Vegas, which was a huge production of a concert. There's this one promo clip the Caesars Palace did to announce Mariah Carey's residency. If you can get thousands of people to see Mariah in a pink, expensive car just announcing her show, those same people will come back and buy tickets night after night. Yeah, let me show you something. So we're, listen, nobody gets this look. We're actually literally on stage. Uh, Usher's going into like his third residency in Las Vegas. And every time he kicks off a new show there, he really elevates it. <laughs> Pushing the boundaries with things like roller skates. I don't know what you came to. And look, we've seen a lot of things in Vegas, but we've never seen roller skates. And it was one of the first aspects of his concert that started going viral. So I'm skating on stage. There's a strip club on the stage. There's ush books flying all over the place. You got girls literally hovering in the air, almost, you know, 30 feet in the air. And this is like of some culture that you've never experienced, but you feel like you have. But no, nah, it's our culture. It is very specifically a culture from Atlanta. This is a theatrical show that is immersive in all of the ways from the songs, to the storytelling, the dancing, the wardrobe, the technical side of it, the assistance of supporting cast. One of the things I love about Vegas is when you go to these big shows, you just never know who you're gonna see every night. And so like everybody's seen online this clip, like Neo shows up and does a whole song of his own doing Usher's residency. I got out there and I got more nervous than I've been in a really, really, really long time. All of a sudden it's like, Oh, that's my heart. Damn. Oh, wait, wait a minute. What is this? So Usher told me that Sexy Love is one of his favorite songs of mine. My sexy love. Come on. So sexy. Yes. That's how we do it, baby. Which is why we had to sing that song. Being able to share stage with that man was definitely a bucket list scratch off for me. Yeah. And I hear the story about how the Rat Pack did their thing and how they would show up at each other's shows and they would support each other. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for my brother, Neo. We're kind of like the new Rat Pack, you know what I'm saying? They epitomized what it was to just entertain and took a liking to Sammy Davis Jr. especially because he was the one that looked like me. My show is 
absolutely inspired by just the essence of what Vegas is. I feel like black entertainers in Las Vegas crawled and scraped so that we could fly, if not for the struggles they endured. And there would be no possibility of somebody like me getting to go back to my hometown and perform on some of the biggest stages in Vegas. The musicians today can never repay those older musicians who came here. They are standing on those shoulders. And now, the end is near. Listen, we all know and love the Frank Sinatra version of My Way. And did it my way. But now Usher's My Way is bringing a whole nother lens to Las Vegas. He's running back to see me doing it. see the type of progress that we in America have uh, as minorities is good. There's so much more that we need to address, though. Wouldn't it be good to one day own our own hotel, have our own theater, and have our own stage and stuff like that? Well, we're laying the groundwork today for that to be a reality in the future. I genuinely feel like the sky's the limit for Vegas. It's exciting to consider what could be coming. Who knows, who knows? As long as I'm a part of it, I'm not tripping. I know I want to be somebody who came to this city and did something that you remembered and you will never forget. That's what I hope for, yeah. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.